What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Croaky Adele from Inky Quill. I have got a croaky voice. This is so much better than it was. I'm recording this just before it's about to go live. And I thought I would show you a really quick and easy Project Life page today to show you that you don't need tons of stuff. You don't need kits. You don't need the latest goodies to make a Project Life spread. So this is a 9 by 12 um, spread which is of my camping birthday trip back in March because yes I'm still in March it's now June we won't speak of this so I'm using some of the uh, oh what was this wonder by crepe paper chipboard I'd been saving onto that tent and the little marshmallows on the stick are from the journey collection I believe I've been saving onto both of them because I knew I was going camping for my birthday so here I'm just adding there's only one filler card in this whole page it's very photo heavy and that's my tip if you are running behind in project life like most of us it's okay just make your spreads more photo heavy and you won't have as much to embellish easy easy problem solved so I am literally apart from um, the crepe paper chipboard and that summer poolside sticker sheet I am literally just grabbing things in arm's reach on my desk and I wanted to show you that you can make a project live spread in less than 20 minutes give or take a little bit for photo editing and printing I don't include that in the making because I do that separately and I do it in a big bulk but here I am just adding some word stickers uh, these are my favorite Tim Holtz small talk little stickers I love this um, and that's my filler card done it's a bit chaotic it's a bit jumbled but it's okay because there's not a lot of embellishing on the rest of the spread so if you can hear a lot of movement next to me and a lot of joysticking Aaron is playing Halo very, very profusely next to me. <laughs> Hello. Yep, he's right here. Anyway, with this one, I'm just using one of the little embellishments that I made using the diamond press. If you haven't watched that video of how I made some DIY embellishments, I'll put the link down below. And this is a picture of our friends just lying on the giant bean bag that we bought because we for my camping holiday birthday we decided to go slightly glamping now we didn't want to actually pay for glamping glamping if you're not sure it's kind of like glamorous camping so you usually glamping is where you go and you buy uh, you pay for these like expensive tents and you go and stay in a place that's already set up and you have electricity and toilets and all sorts of beautiful stuff and we didn't want that but we wanted to make it a bit special. so we had um, like candles and fairy lights and we had lawn games and bean bags and lounges and a little whiskey bar and oh it was beautiful and um, the giant bean bag was definitely the highlight of the glamping experience so here we are just flopping in the bean bag and I made those photos smaller because they were um, taken on someone else's phone not great quality and um, you know it's it's not a really important photo so that's another tip if you're behind in your project life make some photos smaller and put them together in collages because you could include a lot of memories in a lot less space so this photo all I did was a label and a couple of little cork pieces um, this was funny this was patch our six foot three four six foot four maybe um, friend and our other best friend Rowan were trying to do chin-ups on the gazebo <laughs> where the camping was and Patch was almost as tall as the gazebo so it was quite funny to watch the two of them so I had to snap a bit of a sneaky pick now here I am actually gluing down my enamel dots some of them this pack in particular I haven't had the best of luck of them staying on um, so I did decide to double stick those on here's a smoochy photo of me and Mr. Rad I'm using my favorite foam thickers of all time um, I'd forget what they're called but they are incredible and just a couple of little tiny hearts so let me know in the comments below how you're going with your project life uh, personally I'm still in what week am I up to now in March I think I'm up to the last week in March now but I have printed all of my photos up to last week so they're in the albums they're all sorted in the page protectors properly 
I just need to actually do them. So you'll probably over the next month or so, probably this month and next month, you'll be seeing a lot of Project Life videos from me, which I know some of you would be very happy of because they're your favorite ones to watch. Now, this one is um, a photo of the gang just hanging out. And it was so ridiculously freaking hot this day. So March is the start of autumn here in Australia. But it was, I think it was about, it was late 30s degrees Celsius. <laughs> I think it was like, was it like 36, 30, 35, 36, something like that. It was hot. And um, as you can see, Aaron and I were pulling these really attractive faces because it was so hot. So this is what I, my best friend Karen and I like to call this my kookaburra face. Um, because when I was younger, I used to make this face when we impersonated kookaburras because apparently it was something that we did a lot. <laughs> you know, when you just have those personal jokes that you don't really understand the origin of? Yeah, this is one of them, that, that, that weird kookaburra face. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit of aqua, our mini alpha to say weirdos, just to further explain the weirdness of this photo. And I'm trying to see if there's another tiny word sticker I can use. I'm really apologize for my scratchy voice. I've had a shocker of a week with colds and Aaron gave me man flu, which hasn't been exciting, but I'm feeling a lot better. I've just got the aftermath of the voice now and I'm done. So this spread probably took me, well, this is two times speed. So it only took me less than 15 minutes to do. And that's one of many pages for this week but if you weren't like me and didn't take too many photos you could easily get a week of project life done in less than 20 minutes not including photo editing and printing time so let me know in the comments below where you're up to in your project life if you do project life um and i'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the layout in total oh, what am i doing here this is coming out what's happening it needs a label. Oh, this photo. Okay. I can't poke out my tongue properly. <laughs> True fact, my tongue doesn't poke out. So if I poke out my tongue, it pokes out like half a centimetre and it's the most embarrassing, pitiful poking out of a tongue you'll ever see. So this is my group of friends making fun of me and my tongue poking out skills so i think i might pull the photo up um but they impersonate me fantastically because that's exactly what i look like when i try to poke my tongue out and i just needed to add a bit of a caption there because someone flicking through the album wouldn't quite know what these silly billies were doing because they do look a bit um a little bit a little bit uh a little bit different in this photo than they usually do yep there they all are patch is the best one down the bottom there that's what i look like when i pull out poke out my tongue guys if you um want to see more of my random adventures please click that subscribe button i know it was a shorter video today but i might even be back with a bonus video in a couple of hours <gasps> sneaky peek all right thanks for watching guys and please give me a likey if you like to see some more project life bye